everybody welcome back to my channel i'm so excited for today's video because i am going to be unboxing a deck that was gifted to me um from the beautiful lovely raven seer tarot um i will link her channel down below um i've actually already opened this because when i got it in the mail i couldn't wait to get my camera set up so <laughs> this isn't a first impression but um I, yes, I'm going to show you guys the wonderful deck because it's beautiful, but I first wanted to show you guys this wonderful little charm that she uh, sent me a while ago. Um, I love this. Um, it's, it's funny because um, I've never really had a connection to uh, dragonflies but a few weeks after I received this I actually had a very profound moment with a dragonfly that flew into my work um, and I was having a bad day and it flew in and it kind of just like reminded me of the magic in life and I believe it was a sign I really do it was a beautiful moment and I've actually had my uh, you guys can't see let me see if I can I've had my dragonfly card up on my desk for the past few months. Um, and it's funny because it's about magic. Um, beautiful. So, so yeah, I just love that I have this little charm to um, hang up. And it always, it, I'll always have a reminder of that. And it's just gorgeous. So, love that. Raven did a video, um, her Oracle collection video, and she was talking about how she was going to probably rehome her copy of this deck. And I commented and I was like, hey, if you're going to let go of that, I don't mind like, you know, buying it off of you or whatever. Like, I'll take it um, because I absolutely love this deck, which is the Goddess Dream. And um, she lives out of the U.S. and she commented back. She's like, well, um... I can't send you my my copy but I've got one coming to you and she didn't have to do that I'm so incredibly grateful because um I've been wanting this deck for a while so we are gonna do just I'm gonna do a flip through and talk about this deck a little bit but I've already opened it um because I couldn't wait like I said um but let's talk about this one I've never actually like done an unboxing or anything on this one on this channel um and this deck is amazing um i've had it on my desk for the past few months ever since i've gotten it and i just i'll always like pull a card for myself it's beautiful this is the one i picked first out of the two because i was initially really drawn to this one it just seemed a little bit witchier um but the artwork on this i absolutely adore i'm sorry if the angle keeps getting messed up guys my um tripod's acting up on me um wendy andrews is the artist and author of this these decks and i'm going to be purchasing some art from her um i have a few it's funny because through my love of oracle i found some artists that i really adore and i'm going to buy some artwork from them once i move into my home next month um to hang on my walls because this artwork is something else i love it it's so witchy and magical. So these decks are supposed to be like goddess decks. And while they do reference some goddesses in the guidebook, they're not, I don't know. They just have wonderful messages that are versatile. So I love these decks. This is the guidebook. And I love that it's in, that it has like the little color and the little designs here. And I love the card has a keyword and then it has like a little saying and then you go into this um, and it talks about the goddess and all of that. And then it has an affirmation here at the end. So, yes, I absolutely love my goddess dream and the goddess love is just as beautiful. And I feel like this one has a more wintry vibe. This one's very like... I feel like spring and summer and this one's more like fall and winter so this came at the perfect time so the back says now more than ever it is time to open our hearts and remember that we are love goddess is the source the limitless flow of love that created and cares for us hear her she is calling to you 
She is with you always. She is the spirit of the land and the changing of the seasons. Her journey has no beginning or end. She is the wondrous, never-ending cycle of being. Walk through the seasons of change with goddess and unveil your soul's truth in this illustrative oracle of beauty and love. Love it. <laughs> so there's 36 cards in here. That's the inside of the box. And um, the back of the cards are gorgeous. Love those. And the box and the guidebook have this like canvas kind of um, linen cardstock feel. It's gorgeous. So there's an introduction, how to use the cards, a single card reading, a three card spread, and then we get into the cards. It looks like there might be a little bit more information in this one. So I'm excited because I haven't um I haven't played around with this too much. I've looked at it, but we're gonna get into that in a minute. So again, those are the backs, beautiful. It is a glossy cardstock. This cardstock's nice. Um it's it's by Rock Pool, so it's nice cardstock. Um I have noticed with my goddess stream, it's it got kind of warped. Um and I've had heavy books on it for a while to try to straighten it out. And it's it's getting there. This one was a little bit bowed. As you can see, it, it's still a little bit there. But I was bend, I bent it back into shape. So it's not as bad. Um, this isn't in order. But we're just going to flip through this really quick. I'm going to do a little musical flip through. Then we're going to talk about it and pull a card. So... <laughs> say this deck doesn't have a ton of um diversity in it but it does have age diversity which i enjoy there's a lot of older women in here which i think is go gorgeous i love that um yeah i love these decks um i might i don't know i might end up mixing them together i don't know they do feel slightly different in their um their uh just how they feel but I love everything I love the font how it has like the little I love how it's like slanted down here it has like italics <laughs> gosh I love this yeah this one's just as beautiful again I feel like this one the goddess dream has a little bit more of a witchy vibe than this one but they both feel really magical so I'm going to shuffle this and just pull them uh, a message for everybody the thing I love about this deck is it's one of those decks that um just has pretty much like all good messages but there's still things that like you need to hear and so I love pulling this as um this is the one that flew out peace open your heart I love pulling this as a like if you're just feeling down or like if a reading is really hard like I love to pull my goddess dream oracle when I do um readings for my Etsy shop when I do like a three card spread I'll add that one in as like a little extra just because the messages I've found they really affirm like the overall message they really bring it full circle I love that um so a lot of my oracle decks I try to find ones that are well-rounded where they have like shadow and light cards um, but I'm glad that I have these decks, which I know when I pull them out, they're, they're going to have soft, nice messages, which you need once in a while. Look at this beautiful card, you guys. When I was flipping through, this is one of the ones that really caught my eye. She has this beautiful, like, star crown. This is very Christmassy feeling, so it's perfect. She has, like, it looks like holly on her dress. 
snow in the background. It's gorgeous. So we're going to read the message. I'm excited to get into the guidebook because I feel like this has more information in it. Okay, so peace. Open your heart. Goddess brings a message of peace asking you to put down any grudges you may be holding. Look out for signs and symbols she may place in your life to encourage you to stop and reflect on any negativity or even hatred you might be nurturing towards yourself or others. She asks you to open your heart and let her in. Her peace and love can transform anger into empathy. She points the way towards quiet spaces where you may hear her guiding voices more clearly. She will help you find compassion and peace in your heart and give you the gift of wishing for peace within the hearts of others. So that where you once saw enemies, you can now see friends. You may carry with you the wounds of past relationships that may not have worked out in the way you liked. Goddess says she will heal your wounds, but the scars will remind you of the life you have lived. With peace in your heart, you will find that you can look at the scars but feel no pain. Goddess wishes you peace in your thoughts so you can notice moments when you think of yourself as anything less than perfect and replace those thoughts with love. Or when you think of others with negative judgment, you can direct your thoughts towards loving kindness for all. Goddess wishes you peace in your words so that your internal and external language will speak messages without criticism, judgment, blame, comparison, or envy, but only with a voice of love and comp compassion. I'm sorry, guys. I'm not having the best day, so sorry for my stumbling over words. Goddess wishes you peace in your heart so that your body is free from the aches, pains, and discomfort that comes from carrying messages of suffering. You are filled with a lightness of being, an openness and playfulness that is one with the world and all beings within it. Goddess says it is time now to let go of burdens, grudges, and envy and let peace fill the spaces in your being they once occupied. Goddess inspired daily practice. Use the affirmation, today may I have peace in my thoughts, peace in my words, and peace in my heart. And notice how you experience these wishes. You may like to repeat these words as a mantra and or write them in your journal. I love it. There's a lot of information in here more than the goddess dream. And as you can see, um, at least in the goddess dream, they have like some of the cards are based on specific goddesses and some are just based on like the energy of goddess itself. So um, I love that. Um, and I don't know about you guys, but I definitely needed this message today. It's funny. <laughs> it's kind of scarily accurate how much I needed this today. So yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I want to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much to Raven. Her channel is amazing. You guys check it out. She does, um, a lot of, um, readings on her channel, like love readings, um, relationship readings, uh finances all of that i love her pick a card readings i honestly watch them they're like sa satisfying to watch for me <laughs> um just like the way that she like her accent and the way that she shuffles and all of that i love it um so definitely check out her channel i want to say thank you for this deck it's gorgeous raven i really appreciate it you didn't have to do it but it, i'm going to treasure it forever i absolutely love these decks um they fit my aesthetic and yes i'm going to cherish this deck <laughs> forever so thank you um, but yeah, um, I'm going to link, Raven also does like, um, Oracle and tarot deck reviews and unboxings. So if you guys like that, which I love, love watching those videos as well, um, check out her channel, which again, will be linked down in the description box. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think of this deck. Do you have it? Um, do you prefer this one over the goddess dream or vice versa? I love them both so, so much. And I don't have a favorite at this time. Um, like I said, I might group them together. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.